This is Ellie, and today, we're continuing from where we left off in the last episode about customizing the detail page in Django Asker. If you're new to this series, I recommend starting from the very first episode. Let's jump in and start tackling this part about prices. In the templates, Asker, Catalog, Directory. Open the detail.html file. We invoke the purchase info for product template tag. Fetching the product's purchasing information, like price and availability and saving it in a session variable for use within this block. If a price is available in the session data, if session.price.exists is true, it displays the product's pricing and availability, otherwise, this section is skipped. Now, duplicate the div with the class product meta, so we'll have a clear spot to display taxes and other related price details. Just a quick reminder, if you'd like to access this template, you can subscribe to the any tier in the Patreon membership. Either option will give you access to the repo link with the complete template. Alright, after all that editing and deleting, I hope you're still with me. The price details are finally showing up. Next up, 
let's check out how to display the stock keeping unit SKU, the partner's name, and the product's UPC. Right now, we don't have access to the SKU and partner name from the stock record model in our templates. So, let's create a custom template tag that'll make it easy to access those details anywhere we need. We'll use the same custom filters file in the catalog apps template tags folder for this. We register the function as a simple template tag. This means it can be called directly in any template once loaded, providing custom outputs when given data. Define the function get stock record, which takes a product object as an argument. This will be the product whose stock record details we want to retrieve. Here, we're querying the stock record model to find records linked to the given product. We filter the stock record records to those where the product field matches the provided product. Dot first returns the first matching stock record, or none if there are no matches. Next, we check if a stock record was found, meaning if it's not none, if found. The code inside this block will run if a stock record exists. We return a dictionary with two keys, partner, which holds the name of the partner associated with the stock record and SKU, containing the partner's SKU, the unique identifier assigned by the partner. If no stock record is found for the product, we return none. In the template, we've already loaded the custom filter tags. If you haven't loaded them yet, please go ahead and do that first. Next, let's display those valuable details, the partner name and SKU, alongside the product's UPC, which we already have access to in the product model. Restart the server to ensure the template tags load correctly. Great! Now that we have the SKU and partner name displayed, let's move on to displaying the UPC.
Next up, let's dive into this interesting part. Start by creating these two files in the Partials folder within the ASCA directory. By default, the ASCA Sandbox site includes field underscore form and field underscore forms files, which control how form fields are displayed across different templates. In this case, we have various forms with inputs displayed in different styles, so we'll create our own file to handle that versatility. In the detail template, please select and cut the div with the class product form. Go ahead and paste all the cut content into the option from field template. For now, let's comment out the section about color. We've got some business to wrap up before we circle back to it. We will begin by looping through all the options associated with the product. For specificity, we use an if statement to check the type of the option, allowing us to render it accordingly. You can check the available types in your environment, specifically in the Catalog app under the Abstract Option model, where you will find all the types to base your checks on.
Here are our option types in the upcoming videos. We will explore how to add our own option types for now. I want to show you where these types are coming from. For the moment, when you open the dashboard, you'll see that we only have one option with the type multi-select. Let's use that type as a check before moving on to other types. If an option is of the multi-select type, we will render this section. We display the option name. The input name and slugify it. And don't forget the ID. I've been driving this train Gears in this lane There's no stop in this frame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight Never stop, never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no, I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say Again, I got tired eyes, need a cup of blend. That's right, in the AM, that's my only friend. No light, just the sun coming up on the horizon. I lose track of time, yeah, I move fast and climb. A new class divine, yeah, true passion shines. And I'm through passing time, I choose stacking dimes. You snooze half the time while I move passing by. Uh, I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say I hope you're able to follow along with what I'm doing, but if you encounter any issues, feel free to reach out, and we can figure it out together. I just realized we need to rename these two templates to avoid any confusion when rendering them. In the option form fields, we need to remove the for loop since it's no longer needed. We'll be rendering each option individually with styling specific to each one. We will also extend the option form field template instead of the general form field template. Now, go back to the Asker directory Navigate to the catalog partials and create a new template named Add to Basket Form.
Now, as you can see, we've created an Add to Cart form. This form will capture the options the user selects. We've also moved the Cart button from the Detail page and pasted it here for easier access. To make the quantity input functional, we only need to set the input's ID and name attributes. On the detail page, we'll extend the Add to Cart form, but this will only apply to non-parent products. I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer no exposure, I just wanna be a loner uh, Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders just to get out of the home It sucks, I've had enough, I don't wanna feel the stuck Under the rug, all my problems that I shove I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature and it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real Anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear Sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real Anxiety can foggy Yo, all this stuff It sucks when you finally feel like giving up Oh God, no luck Everything feels like you're sticky stuck I'm lost, handcuffed To the bed where I sleep, don't give a fuck Can't stop, unplug Feeling overwhelmed, I think I've had enough uh, Gotta find a way to get some energy Gotta find someone who's a good friend of me I need purpose to make it all worth it I'm still searching and I'm still learning I want a life that's filled with memories Not a life with regret in front of me I need focus to keep me from hopeless Psychosis if I keep moping I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear that my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff Great. Now we can add any product quantity based on stock availability. And we've confirmed that product options are customizable and functional. 
So far, this is only implemented for options with a multi-select type. Let's also add support for other types. Now, let's add another option named color. With the type radio, remember, a radio type allows selection of only one option. Set the ordering to two, so it displays in the second position among options. For the option group, choose color, allowing users to select from the color attribute group. Save the configuration and let's add this option to our product class. We can't see it displayed here because we didn't account for it in our template customization. Let's address that next. Go, go, go. 
seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago but all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago a year ago